Thank you for joining us for our first event of 2022. So let's start with Apple TV+. Plus. We hope you'll love these amazing movies as much as we do. They bring drama, suspense, and joy to our lives. And with Apple TV+, Plus, we're always looking for new ways to bring more of this to you. Introducing Friday Night Baseball on Apple TV+. Plus. Tune in on Friday nights for two games you can only see on Apple TV+, Plus, starting with iPhone. <laughs> iPhone 13 looks stunning in this bold new green with its precision milled back glass and color matched aluminum edges. And iPhone 13 Pro in a sophisticated new Alpine green joins the most pro lineup we've ever created. The new iPhone SE. At the heart of iPhone SE is A15 Bionic, the same chip as an iPhone 13. Midnight, Starlight, and Product Red, which now includes the toughest glass in a smartphone on both the front and back. This is the same glass as the back of iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro. iPhone SE has even better battery life with the efficiency of A15 Bionic, integration with iOS, our latest battery chemistry, and internal design updates. And we're bringing 5G to our most affordable iPhone. Like we did with iPhone 13, we eliminated the outer plastic wrap from our packaging. And it starts at just 429 to talk about iPad Air. We're bringing the breakthrough M1 chip to iPad Air. This is the same M1 chip that we brought to iPad Pro. 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, which means it supports center stage. This has been hugely popular for connecting with friends, colleagues, and loved ones. Ultra fast 5G to iPad Air at the same great price of $5.99. Next, let's talk about the Mac. It has a groundbreaking die-to-die -die interconnect technology that allows us to scale even further by building M1 Ultra from two M1 Max die, which doubles performance. And we connect the two die with our innovative custom-built packaging architecture. This multi-die architecture is way ahead of anything else in the industry. And we call it UltraFusion and provides an enormous 2.5 terabyte per second of low latency interprocessor bandwidth between the two die using very little power. M1 Ultra has 114 billion transistors. That's seven times more than M1. It's the most ever in a personal computer chip. In fact, with two die, the memory bandwidth is increased to a massive 800 gigabyte per second. That's more than 10 times the latest PC desktop chip. It has a powerful 20-core CPU with 16 high-performance cores and four high-efficiency cores to crush CPU-intensive tasks. It also features a huge 64-core GPU, so it can speed through the most intense graphic tasks. It's nearly eight times faster than M1, while using 65% less power. It delivers 90% higher performance in the same power envelope, pounding 100 watts less power while using one third the power, while using 200 watts less power. This is Mac Studio and Studio Display. The exterior is machined from a single aluminum extrusion with a footprint of just 7.7 .7 inches square and height of only 3.7 inches. So it takes up very little space and fits perfectly under most displays. The innovative thermal system begins with a unique double-sided blower pulling air into the system across the entire circumference of the perforated aluminum base. The air moves over the custom circular power supply and through channels precisely placed to guide it to the chip's thermal module. Finally, the air is propelled through a low impedance rear exhaust containing over 2,000 precisely machined perforations. On the back, there are four Thunderbolt 4 ports to connect displays and high performance devices. A 10 gigabit ethernet port, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and a pro audio jack for high impedance headphones on the front for even easier access. Systems with M1 Max have two USB-C ports providing 10 gigabits per second USB 3 data transfer. 
And with M1 Ultra, these ports are Thunderbolt 4, with up to 40 gigabits per second data transfer speeds. There's also an SD card slot for up to four Pro Display XDRs, plus a 4K TV. Let's start with Mac Studio with M1 Max. For CPU performance, Mac Studio with M1 Max is up to 2.5 times faster, it's up to 3.4 times faster, and it's up to 50% faster than Mac Pro, is over three times faster. The CPU performance on Mac Studio with M1 Ultra is up to 3.8 times faster, 90% faster than Mac Pro. It's up to 60% faster, four and a half times faster. It's up to 80% faster. You can access up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory. And with M1 Ultra, you get up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. The SSD in Mac Studio delivers up to a super fast 7.4 gigabytes per second of performance and up to eight terabytes capacity. Mac Studio will use up to 1,000 kilowatt hours less energy than a high-end PC desktop. Studio Display has an all-screen design with narrow borders. Its all-aluminum enclosure houses an advanced set of features in a slim profile. And the stand allows you to tilt the display up to 30 degrees. You can also choose a tilt and height adjustable stand option. There's also a VESA adapter option that lets you mount the display in landscape or portrait orientation that has a 27 inch active area with a total of 14.7 million pixels at 218 pixels per inch, making it a 5K retina display. And with 600 nits of brightness, P3 wide color, it also has true tone industry-leading anti-reflective coating, nano-texture glass option, actually has an A13 Bionic chip inside, which enables it to deliver amazing experiences with the highly advanced camera and audio system. There's a 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera, which is the same sensational camera that's been a huge hit on iPad. It supports center stage, it also includes an array of studio quality mics. Studio Display also features a high fidelity six speaker sound system. It has four force canceling woofers that minimize distortion and produce bold articulate bass and two high performance tweeters that create accurate mids and crisp highs. The speakers also support spatial audio for music and video with Dolby Atmos. It has three USB-C ports that deliver speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. And there's a Thunderbolt port, which allows you to connect Studio Display and any plugged in peripherals to your Mac with a single cable. That same cable delivers 96 watts of power. You can connect up to three Studio Displays to your MacBook Pro. Mac Studio with M1 Max starts at 1999. And Mac Studio with M1 Ultra starts at $39.99. And the studio display with its awesome set of features is $15.99. With just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. Thank you again for joining us. Have a great day.